I think at this point, all I really need to do is get a couple of really good defensive cards, and I'm done. Then just winnow out my deck, get it as small as possible, and just cycle the hell out of this stuff. Maybe get, uh, I need a couple of card draws and a couple of good defense, and then I think I'm done. And then I'll weed out some of the lesser cards, and just keep this thing super thin, cycle it like crazy, and just be smashing away for... 80 100 points of damage per round and be raising my decks the entire time. Oh my god, that's an awesome card for this deck. All right, question marks are being very very generous. So, next we are going Let's see. I want to eventually do the crossover. I've got to cross over either here or here. I think it's the same path that I had picked. I think it's up this way. One, two encounters. Other than that, it's all question marks, camps, and relics. So, all right. Keep being generous. I like it. Oh, we got the Golden Idol upgrade. <laughs> oh, man. This is funny. I got the Golden Idol. We can get the Golden Idol upgrade. Uh, that's funny. Whenever you gain gold, heal five hit points. <laughs> uh, this is hilarious. Uh, I need the vampirism. I want the vampirism. Oh, ooh. I think I'm going to have to go with the remove a card. Uh, yeah. This is tough. I could upgrade all my defense. I think they go to 8 block and the strikes go to 9 damage. No, maybe I do have to go with that. That's a lot of upgrades. I think I am going to take the upgrade. It'll suck if I then almost if I soon get the vampirism choice because it'll drop all my strikes. But uh, this is a tough one because I'm originally planning on actually ditching all of these, and I might keep that one, but ditching all of these basic versions for upgraded versions. And I've got more and more money flooding in because I've got the tiny chest and so on. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, probably best to remove. That's the way I'm leaning, and that's what I've stated my goal was. Get this thing winnowed down to a lean, mean set of cards that just cycle endlessly. All right, let's get rid of a standard strike. Take that opportunity. All right, here's our next real combat. What do we get? All right, this might be tougher. Oh, I tossed my endless agony. <laughs> I got too many cards. <laughs> oh, at least it put it in the discard pile, so it will come up again. So it'll duplicate itself. All right. Got my outmaneuver. Holy crap! Look at all that damage! Son of a bitch! <laughs> Goddamn, birds! Uh, that's an issue. <laughs> wow. Like I said, I'm going to run into something that's going to rip me up. That's crazy. All three of them doing their triple attacks on round one. I guess part of that's because they all start with the two strength. Uh, that's not good. All right, I know I can knock down at least one or two, one of these. I'm not sure I can get two of them, though. Ah, uh, crap. Four energy. I've got five cards that require energy currently in my hand. But the survivor is going to require a discard. Um, <sighs> hmm, 
Oh, this could really suck. Um, they're flying, so they're only going to take half damage until I knock them down. Yeah, this is going to suck. Wow. I could die right here. <laughs> um... I gotta be really, really careful here. So we're gonna load the decks up. Let's throw poison on the big guy. And we're gonna try to knock this one out of the air. I was really hoping to keep the Endless Agony to cycle it, but I'm gonna need it. Alright, skills. Outmaneuver and Survivor both of which I'm going to need to cast. Everything else is an attack, so I will be able to get Masterful Strike off without... Oh, no, I won't be able to get Masterful Stab off, because I'm going to have... Actually, no. I'm going to discard that strike, then I can cast everything. Yeah, so I'm going to be able to cast everything in my hand. Alright. So... Do the Survivor. Discard the Strike. Eh, probably, yeah, I had to discard something that cost a point. Play the maneuver. Alright. Uh, yeah, I know they're flying. As soon as I hit them three times, then they stop flying, so my hope is that uh, I can kill at least one, I'm fairly sure, and I'll have enough armor to cover a second attack. So it's basically 15 damage. So I think I'll be okay. I'm going to take some definite hits, but... Because I can fire off so many attacks, I think I'll be able to knock their flight off pretty quickly. So that's why I poisoned this one to help out. Alright, so this is the one we're going to aim at. So let's just start throwing stuff at him. I don't think it's going to make a difference. So we'll do one... Two, three, and that raised my dex, as well as knocking him out of the air. So he's not going to do any damage now. So I could do this one as well. Or do I take one out entirely? No. Uh, can't remember. Do they get flying again immediately the next turn, or do you have to hit them all in one? Um, well, could I kill him anyway? So, I'm going to get the Masterful Stab off. That's 15, but that's going to be the last thing I throw. So, can I kill him? So, that's just going to be yeah, 6, and 9 is 15, 23. So, yeah, I can kill him, and then throw the single masterful stab at the next guy. It'll only do half damage, but that'll get him down seven. Or I can throw three strikes at this guy. Knock him out of the air so he does no damage. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to throw three strikes at this guy. So we're going to... Endless Agony you. Strike you, and Poison Stab you. That knocks him out of the air, so... Only th I'm only going to take a couple of points of damage this first round. Now I'm going to Masterful Stab one of these two. Uh, we'll get this guy down as low as possible, so it takes the least effort to knock him out. Oh, actually, he's got... this will kill him before he gets a turn. So yeah, Poison will kill him. Perfect! Alright. I am amazed. I was scared shitless when I first saw that damage row, but now I'm barely going to take, take a scratch. Alright, now are you going to get back up and fly again, or are you stuck on the ground? He's stuck on the ground. Alright, he's easy to kill. So, this time, I've got Choke. I can lock 18 easily. So it's block, that's two. I've got plenty of energy. Um, but I don't have three attacks to knock him out of the air with. Alright, so... If I do vulnerable... Uh, 
Alright. Got to defend. Got to defend. Oh, damn it! I should have choked first. Crap. Ah, alright. I screwed that up already. And that could have been hitting him. Um... I think I'm going to choke him, then I'm going to trip him and unload on him, which should kill him. So let's do that, then do that, and then do that. Hey, Villamos, thanks for subscribing. Appreciate it. Oh, I didn't kill him. Crap. I'm going to take more damage. Not a lot more. Or none... Oh, yeah, there's the other one. Alright, so I took four points of damage, but otherwise these guys are both dead. So he'll die from the poison. Finisher. <laughs> I want that on the first turn, when I get my first draw. Alright, uh, no other cards. So I, I got, unfortunately, the curse and my masterful stab at the same time. I don't have a way of discarding it, so... Um, this actually sucks, because... I can't play that attack. Oh, I do have an attack. Okay. Well, he's going to die from the poison. I just need to kill that guy. So, there we go. Alright. Well, that worked surprisingly well. I'm shocked that I came out of that with uh, only four points of damage. And I heal back up to max, because <laughs> I gain gold. <laughs> oh, this is a funny, funny, funny run. Oh boy. Do I... i got to be really careful now. I'm really, really trying hard to keep this deck lean and mean. I don't think I'm going for a poison deck at this point. I'm going to pass on the Bouncing Flask, pass on the Poison Stab. These are all poison. The five weakness, though, could be pretty important. Upgraded. They're both upgraded. Arrgh. Um. Not really pursuing poison. Correct. Yeah, weakness is just a standard effect, and the number represents how many turns it's active. And every time you hit him with weak after that, it just keeps adding to the turn, how many more turns it's going to be effective. But it does not increase the strength of the weakness. Um... Mm, I'm going to pass. Uh, man, it's tough passing up on upgraded uh, cards like that. Alright, but I'm full health. Came out of that fight with no damage. Let's smith a card. Oh, what does unload become? 16 damage. That doesn't seem like a lot. Uh, damn, I just don't have that many choices. Oh, that's, that's worth it. Hey, too vulnerable to all enemies. That's a good one. That upgrades damage. Oh, wait. Oh, that's... Energy is almost supremely important. Without maneuver, in a very, very lean deck, I'd be relatively constantly casting this, so my energy problems would be completely gone. I'd be able to cast just about everything in my hand. But really what I'm on the lookout for is card draw. I need something that's like draw four cards, discard one, those kinds of cards. 
That way I can uh, play out a bunch of cards, then do the draw, then play out a bunch more, and they just keep massive cycle speed through the deck. So I'm going to go without maneuver. Confirm. And I think that card alone, I'll have four energy to start, and then with that card available, if I can get it cycling regularly, if I can keep my deck size down below, like, somewhere in the 10 to 15 range, possibly, I think I'll have more than enough energy to just constantly be casting cards as long as I've got some card draw ability. So I'm on the hunt for card draw, and I've got almost 600 gold. All right, we've got a fight, regular fight, followed by Relic, another card upgrade, a random... Really, I've only got two more fights this entire trip through the floor. I've only had, what, three real fights this entire run so far? Five fights total to get to the second level boss? Alright, let's see what we get. Single target. I like single target. Alright, got my full draw. I did pull the doubt, but I can get rid of it with the unload. So I just need to be able to play my skills, which are Defend, Survivor, and Outmaneuver, and or... Actually, I don't care about the Survivor and the Defend, because I don't need them, so the Unload will work fine. So... I'm definitely doing Outmaneuver. That will load me up for energy next round. I'm going to neutralize you. Oh, really, it's just a bunch of attacks now. I don't have anything that's going to increase the damage or that's really dependent on what order I do things in. Not bad. Got me up to my two decks. Got me the uh, three energy for next round. Did a decent amount of damage. Oh, it's the Confuse. This is not good. Yeah, this is not good. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> oh, of course, I got my choke when I don't have my handful of cards and I've got the costs upgraded. Uh, all right. Well, this kind of sucks. Uh, this is not optimal. Oh, man, even with seven energy, because it raised these two to three damage each. I don't have enough to cast everything, so I'm not going to get the Masterful Stab off. Alright, well, I can block all of his damage, so that's great. Uh, whoops, God damn it! I keep forgetting to do Choke first! And I didn't get the Vulnerable out. I screwed this round up. Alright. Did some decent damage, though, and I'm not taking any hits. I totally forgot about that confusion effect. That uh, confusion can definitely put a hurting on me. Oh yeah, 25 damage coming in. Alright, let's hope we kill him. Otherwise, we're going to take a good hit. God damn it! Four, three energy for my endless agonies! Ugh! Well, I'm not going to do any damage this round. I'm going to take a big hit. This guy could uh, could wreck me pretty good. Gotta block what I can. Eric, <sighs> I'm gonna get poison and one other item, one other option out. I can do 
essentially 18 more damage and then I'm done. I, God, yeah. I mean, I can do 12, and then I'll get an additional 5 damage added onto this. So 12 plus 13 would be 25 damage if I play these two. That's definitely the best choice. So, choke. And, oops. Poison strike. Oh! Oh! throw. Alright, never mind. <laughs> Oof. Alright, got out of another fight with no damage. Oh, another choke. Oh, what are the chances I'd be able to get multiple chokes out? I don't think I can afford to take another choke. That's an upgraded choke. And... I mean, it would be glorious if I could get two chokes out in one turn, but the effect only lasts for the turn they're played. It would increase the likelihood of me having a choke. It wouldn't affect the unload. It would affect my masterful stab attempt if I had a choke I couldn't cast. But that's a really powerful card for the synergy of the deck. And if I am going to get that upgraded energy card out regularly, I might be able to do it. I'm going to do it. We're going to we're going to make this a garrote deck. We're going to try to choke everything to death. All right, so we're definitely taking this path. So, give me another relic. Hopefully it's something I can use. Useful, useful, Sneko skull. Damn it! Alright, well, that's not as useful. It's bound to happen. Ooh, I can upgrade my other choke. Or do I go for the trip upgrade that I was looking at? Um, I don't really have an AoE solution in this deck. That upgraded choke, though. Five hit point loss for every card played. That means for two energy, you're doing 17 damage... You're guaranteed to play a card after it, so you're guaranteed 17 damage. Otherwise, you wouldn't even play the choke. So it's a 2 cost for 17 damage, which is a decent amount. But then, if you have any chance to cast more cards, it just ratchets up the value of the card insanely. Getting that trip upgraded, though, to make everything vulnerable for two rounds. Hmm. Hey there, 321 Big Boom! How you doing? I got a hilarious deck rolling right now. <laughs> hilarious! If you just joined, <laughs> make sure you watch the start of this thing. It was hilarious! Um, oh man. I can see really good reasons to take both of them. Oh, you'll enjoy it, believe me. <laughs> I can't stop chuckling just thinking about it. It's a pretty insane run that's going on right now, so... <laughs> now I'm just scared to death I'm going to run into some stupid low-level monster that's going to have just a particular combo of abilities, and I'm going to get a bad draw and end this while I'm having such a good time with this weird, weird deck. Uh, I'm going to go with the choke. More of the combats are single target. I'm going to have to find another AoE solution, but I'm 
I'm praying for the time I can get a double choke off with a bunch of my zero cost attacks and see what happens. All right, here we go. Give me more free stuff. Free stuff. Happy flower. Oh, more energy. Every three turns, gain an energy. That'll work. I'm not sure how often I'll get to use it because my preference is to keep combats to less than three turns. <laughs> if it goes more than three, I'm in trouble. <laughs> so I'm not sure if that's going to be used all that often other than the boss fights. All right, here's the only other real fight on this entire floor. We're going in at full strength. Let's see what we get. Uh-oh, we got a group. Could be bad. And we've got our ten cards. I got a choke. I got a finisher. Oh, so many zero-cost cards. Uh, look at all that damage, though. You bastards and all your damage. I got no potions. I really need to get to a merchant with my 651 gold. Okay. We're definitely going to choke somebody. That person then is going to die automatically from the, all the other cards I'm going to cast. So... 15, 14... If I put the choke... So it's going to do 12 damage, and then every time I play a card, he's also going to lose 5 additional damage. Well, 1, that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. That's 30 damage on somebody just from the uh, extra choke. And 42... I think I'm going to choke this guy in the back just to make sure he's the one that takes it. But do I have anything else? 8 damage for each attack played this turn. So that's going to be a massive hit on another guy. Uh, I think that will ratchet up high enough to probably kill that guy. We're going to kill, I think, 2 and do damage to the 3rd in this first round. So I'm going to work on killing these two. I'll leave him because he's going to do the least damage. I'm going to gain a couple points of dex and I'm not going to get something off. I need to get that defend out. Uh, so I'm probably going to lose one of my strikes. I'll probably drop the uh, endless ag one of these endless agonies. Uh, actually no, I'll probably drop that 9 damage strike. All right, but let's do this. So, choke. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, that's, that's correct. So, choke first. All right, so he's at 34. So he's going to take five for every card I play. I'm easily going to play seven cards, so he's dead. So, next one to focus on is that. He's going to be the recipient of my finisher. And that's going to automatically kill him. All right, so let's... I want to get my decks up before I cast the defend, so we're going to do some damage before anything else happens. So let's... How to do this? This is... This is hilarious. <laughs> Turn one. I'm going to demolish most of these guys. Um... I gotta remember all my effects, so that's not gonna come into play. That's an extra poison, but I'm not doing any poisoning. I've got my shivs. Don't care. Don't care. I heal five when I get gold, so I'm gonna automatically heal five when the combat's over, so I've got five points of buffer. Um, I've got my shivs. I heal two at the start of each combat, so I've actually got a seven point buffer. All right. 